Hi everybody, it's Mr. Simpson here. How are you? Welcome to Mr. Simpson Storytime, day 17. Uh, the book I've got for you today is by Sam McBratney, illustrated by Kim Lewis. It's a lovely story and it's called I'm Not Your Friend. And I bet you've never said that, have you? Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a little fox little fox and his mother were playing in the fields. They played running games, sneak up and pounce games, and stand completely still games. And when their shadows grew long in the evening, they played jump over my shadow games. The mother fox looked away to where the sun was going down. It's getting late, she said. We'll stop playing now and get ready for the night. The little fox scampered away through the long grass. I'm not coming, he shouted. You have to try and find me. Mother fox looked over her shoulder. It will soon be dark, she said. We can play again tomorrow. But the little fox didn't want to wait until tomorrow. He wanted to play another game and he wanted to play it now. I'm not your friend anymore, he said, and I'm not going to be your friend again, ever. Oh dear, you'll never be my friend again. No, never, ever. The little fox lay very still in the long grass. Everything was quiet. He watched some tall meadow plants swaying in the breeze. Something fluttered above his head and Looking up, he saw the early evening stars. Could something be watching him? Well, I won't be your friend for a long time, he said. A long, long time. And how long is a long time, called his mother. Until I'm big. Then I shall just have to wait until you're big, sighed his mother. The little fox glanced over his shoulder. Did he hear whispering behind him, or only the swish of the wind blowing through the meadow grass? Something could be getting ready to chase me, he thought. Something really, really nasty, with pointy teeth and sharp claws, and his mother wouldn't even know. Well, I think I might be your friend tomorrow. He said quietly. No answer came. Was his mother still there? Or was he all alone? The little fox stood up on his back legs and saw that it was getting dark. There were shadows and strange shapes everywhere. He began to run. He ran and ran from all the things that might be just behind him. Then, then he saw his mother waiting for him in the last of the daylight. With a rush and a hop, the little fox jumped up and held tight to his mother's soft fur, and he knew that nothing could get to him now. I hope you will be my friend tomorrow, said his mother. The little fox stretched up to whisper into his mother's ear. There was only one more thing that he wanted to say. You don't have to wait until tomorrow. I am your friend now. Oh good, his mother smiled as the little fox settled down to sleep. That's very good, she said softly in the dark, for I'm your friend too. And you know what? I'll always be your friend. And that is the end of I Am Not Your Friend. I hope you really enjoyed it. I will see you tomorrow for episode 18 of Mr. Simpson's Storytime.